One of the buzzwords in the last few years has been the idea of the smart city. A city that is controlled by a computer grid to regulate the needs of its inhabitants. Today, we know that technology alone is not the solution for a successful urban planning. Not only is it flawed in terms of systematic disruption, it also does not take into consideration cultural, social and human parameters. Any artificial intelligence can serve as an aid to people, but it cannot take over its place. Or even worse, turn into a new form of colonialist takeover with which we export certain values and perspectives with the, without reflecting the other. When it comes to urban planning in particular, we have to take human actions into consideration. How does a particular city fabric work? Who are the stakeholders? How do they move? Instead of putting a layer of data on top of a street, we need to understand its relationship to ever, everything that is around it. The same holds true for buildings. Only if we understand how they work and what needs they need to fulfill can we begin to integrate them into a broader system. And only if we connect organic forms with te technological solutions, human creativity and capability, can we avoid major system failures and system collapses. The hyper-dense urban space is a living organism with highly flexible requirements and th thus any attempt to regulate its shifting needs through a technological superstructure are bound to fail in the long run. Professor Taleb and his black swan concept comes to mind immediately. A black swan here be being an event that is a surprise to the observer has a major effect and after the fact is often and appropriately rationalized with the benefit of hindsight. The black swan concept explains first the disproportionate role of high profile, hard to predict and rare events that are beyond the realm of normal expectations in history, science, finance and technology. In other words, the non-calculated failures. Second, the non-computability of the probability of the consequential rare events using scientific methods, owing the very nature of small probabilities. Relying solely on the promise of the smart city thus would inevitably lead to some sort of disaster, which in my interpretation can only be avoided by a thorough analysis and understanding of the given environment. Here, conditions such as society and culture play a key role and need to be taken seriously when developing the smart grid.